In this video, we are going to leverage Tax Weaver with Google Gemini Pro model, and we are going to create agents and interact with agents using no code. Right, this is pretty straightforward to set up. And I've already made videos on Tax Weaver, and I'm going to attach the link in the description below. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. All right, so let's get into my VS Code. All right, it is a pretty straightforward setup. And all right, first we are going to need, so you open your VS Code. So in here, I already have my tax weaver. So, all right, so I'm going to attach this link in the description on how you can easily install it. So the first thing is to make sure you have a Python version that is greater than or equal to 3.10. And you copy this here. So we are going to clone. So you copy this and you paste it in your terminal. All right, so I already have that set up. So we should, it should get the tax waiver in here, folder here. All right, so when you hit the enter, button it should install it all right so let me clean this up already have it installed so the next thing is to cd directory change your directory all right so you hit your and it should pop up like this the tax weaver showing up and the next thing is we need to install dependencies So I'm going to install the requirement, right? I already have that installed. So when you hit enter, it should install everything for you. And the next thing is we need to set up the config in order to set it up. So when you open this up, you go to project and you go to the tax weaver config. Okay, so we should, the format should be like this. The API type should be Google Gen AI and the Google Gen AI dot API key. So in order to get the API key, you go to this link. I'm going to attach the link and it's pretty straightforward to create your API key. All right, so you go to makersu.google.com and in here, you click, if you don't have your API key, you click on the create API key in new project, and it should lead you to your API key. It's pretty really straightforward. And you paste it in here, All right? All right, and you, the Google Gen AI dot model is Gemini Pro. Okay, so that is the model we are going to use. Okay, so the next thing is we are you need to install the pip. We need to install chainlet. So in your terminal, you pip install chainlet. Already you have all that installed, and when you hit the hit button, it should install everything for you. Okay, so the next thing is we need to install the Google generative AI in order to connect to the Google API. All right, so you need to install this. And when you hit enter, it should install that for you. All right. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we change our directory to the UI. Change it to UI to get this. Okay. So let me hit enter, and that should bring you here. Playground UI. Okay. All right. Finally, we need to run the chainlet run app.py. 
So when we hit enter, make sure everything is saved. So let's give it a few for it to run. All right, so we have uh, the tax waiver UI. So we can start asking questions. So in here, if you want to change your settings, you can go to, if you want to hide, expand the messages. If you want to change, hide chain of thoughts. If you want a dark mode, you can select light mode, dark mode. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So let's start asking questions. They generate 50 random numbers from one to 200. All right, so I'm gonna say, so I have my 50 random numbers generated. Right, so let's right, and it's giving me the steps. Right, each agent is the planner. It's running the initial plan and the plan, the current plan steps. And going through the thoughts, it's the code interpreter. Right, giving me the steps and giving out the code that is used. Right, perfect. All right, so let me say plots the distribution distribution all right guys so i have my distribution so the distribution of the generated random numbers is plotted and saved as an image file all right this is perfect so as you can see it's plotting out the distribution of the graph the random numbers all right guys um yeah so you can do a lot more with this so I'm going to come your way with more videos like this. And so when you go to your VS code, you can check your code space and you can see all your, um, your work you're working on. All right, so this can, this can give you the records of the outputs and the code that you are working on so you can check that here all right so this was what i wanted to share you guys to show you so if you like this video do hit the subscribe button and see you in the next one